are. It's the day after the Super Bowl. There's Boondoggle and his buddy Remington. And we're here to test fire a 20 millimeter cannon. And uh, the uh, this cannon was willed to me by a good friend. And uh, anyway, it's kind of a different cannon for me. The uh, it's a 20 millimeter breech loader. Um, it's got a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat style breech. It is a bag gun. Uh, fires from an external shotgun primer. It's got a Lottie style muzzle brake. I believe that's a Lottie style. Anyway, I'm no expert on Lotties, but it seems to me like I've seen one like that on a Lottie. And uh, um, real nice barrel. I'll show you the way the breech works. The uh, Swing the breech around, close it, and there she's locked. And then of course this is the firing mechanism that uh, basically is just the same as on my Whitworth cannon. Elevation screw. I did build the trail on this carriage. Uh, it also fits on a 50 BMG style tripod which I don't know it just made it kind of hard to move so I put it on this little carriage I had here those wheels are um, you know they're just they're so heavy you can't believe it they're cast iron and that that three inch axle is not a tube it's solid so let me tell you this thing is just it's really a heavy little gun it probably isn't even going to move under recoil, but we're about to find out on that one. Uh, anyway, okay, she's uh, ready to go. You can see I got kind of a jerry-rigged uh, cord there on the uh, firing mechanism. I can't seem to find my regular one. Of course, I need a longer one anyway. Uh, that uh, T-handle th looking thing you have in there, that's the safety. And I'll pull that out here pretty quick. Or firing and then of course run like hell uh, I always test fire any guns uh, prior to uh, 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 you know actually standing next to them shooting them I always fire them from a remote safe location uh, anyway here goes nothing Well, she didn't move much. The uh, relatively loud. Let's see if the breech is jammed tight. Oh, that worked pretty good. Of course, it seems to have damaged the spring and the firing mechanism. I don't know. I mean, it's still well, way functional, but... Okay, well, I've decided that I need to do some more work to the breech. I think the blowback um, from the touch hole is uh, too much for the spring right here, and it's damaged the spring a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do, this breech comes off real easy for service like that and what I'm gonna do I'm hoping I'm getting this in front of the camera I'm gonna take this apart make some kind of a guard to where when it does slam back it can't mash the spring it, it's stopped and then I'll put a smaller touch hole in in, in, in the uh, uh, it through here see it's a pretty big touch hole in the breech face and uh, so anyway that's that's what I'm gonna do and we'll have another test firing after that's over say hi boondoggle he's not much of a talker